Well, welcome back. An incredible story from space as the Mars rover Curiosity has found some very interesting clues about the Martian landscape. That in addition to the discovery of methane gas on Mars. RT correspondent Lindsay France is live with this story. Uh, Lindsay, so let's start here. What sort of activity did scientists find through the rover? Okay, so what scientists have found were the presence of essentially what used to be water on Mars, and in that, uh, what was the water they found, organic materials, things with organic carbon in it, and also they found methane gas. So what this means is, especially with the type of activity surrounding the methane gas, they found large spikes of it, and drops and spikes and drops and what this means is there's activity happening beneath they found this in localized vents beneath the um, the rock in the planet so that means that there could be water reacting with rock etc they need to figure out what type of activity that is but with the organic materials it means that we could find a footprint of martian life that used to exist and if there's plant life that used to exist it could mean that there's other life that used to exist. So scientists at NASA are very excited. They just unveiled this, and it presents a new puzzle to, to, to sort of solve for them. It's a pretty interesting concept when you're talking about, as you mentioned, the organic life and then ultimately the chain reaction that you would follow with that. Uh, in terms of the water, some of what Rover found seemed to indicate that there was at one time snowpack on that planet. Is that correct? That melted? Yeah, so what uh, the rover essentially found was that uh, Mars used to contain huge amounts of water. And what scientists want to find out is uh, after that water froze and melted and eventually went away, they want to find out how that happened, when that happened, and where around the planet it happened, sort of a footprint of where organic life, life could have happened. One of the things also here to mention with the organic material that was found uh, is that it could point toward organic material that was delivered to the planet via a meteorite, or it could point to actual Martian life. And that is something that they really want to focus on. It's going to take a lot of more work and a lot more tests to be done to find whether there's a building blocks of life, such as what we have in our DNA or amino acids. So that's what they're going to be testing further. Uh, aside from finding Marvin the Martian skeleton out there someplace, how do you go about finding that Martian life? Exactly. So they took the Mars rover and what it did is it drilled a huge hole in um, this rock formation called the Cumberland on Mars. And so it took a huge uh, sample and especially of the powder around that rock sample. There were onboard laboratories that tested for the organic material. Uh, there, was also, uh, there was also testing in the atmosphere just around Mars for the methane spikes. So it was really the work of the Mars rover. It took 10 years and over a thousand people to work on this project just to get to this point. But as NASA scientists have said, on a scale to one to t from 1 to 10, this is a 10. This is a huge, huge discovery in, of, of whether or not life could have existed on Mars or if it does exist now. There you go. Fascinating stuff. RT correspondent Lindsay France, thanks so much.